Do we really want to live in a world where artificial intelligence is going to determine how we live and shape our life? I wanted to tell you a brief story of what happened to me last week and how I wasted 10 days dealing with Google. So Google advertising, when you upload a new video, they do the automated tests to see if the video is compliant with their many, many, many regulations, some of which are incredible to most of people. And basically, I uploaded three videos, all of them, of course, on artificial intelligence. And the robot came back saying that uh, they were about coronavirus and they were forbidden. They were forbidden because you cannot use coronavirus as a mean to do any advertising. It's immoral uh, from their perspective. And I could agree on that as long as, you know, the video is actually a coronavirus, but the video is on artificial intelligence and had nothing to do, absolutely nothing to do with coronavirus. There was absolutely nothing in the video that had any resemblance to the problem of coronavirus. I appealed the decision of the bot several times. Finally, I reached the support after two or three days and they tell me there is not much we can do because this is a process that is self-contained, the bot decide on its own. And in order for us to change this process, we have even to escalate it to a tier one support level and it's gonna take you several days, if not weeks, before this is gonna be resolved. Long story short, I wasted 10 days before I could solve this problem a lot of man hours wasted, my hours, the support hours, and so on and so forth. For something that in the end, any human being would understand in less than a minute. They would watch the video and they would understand that the video has nothing to do with coronavirus. So simply, we see a situation where artificial intelligence is used in a detrimental way for human beings. Now, what could have been done differently? One an interactive process where I can interact with the bot and teach the bot the reason why the bot had made the mistake. This is a design that would, of course, rely on a high degree of dependability on the part of the user. But in this case, it would be granted because a lot of the users of Google AdWords, a good majority are people that are professional. So they don't want to themselves take too many risks in doing something wrong. Of course, there's going to be a long tail of bad people, but that happens in any human endeavor. That's always this way. Or at the very minimum, you would like to introduce a human in the loop so that if something goes wrong, the bot can be overseeded by a human beings. But they didn't do any of the two simply because I would just speculate that's corporate policy. And that brings me to the next topic, which is basically who decides what design of artificial intelligence implementations has to be in the world? Who is deciding to override my rights, to take advantage of my time as a user, and why? Why is one single stakeholder deciding how artificial intelligence has to be utilized? And that leads to my final argument that it is, in my opinion, this sector is in need for regulation and for legislation on the side of the government. And this excessive automation should be in some way supervised by human beings. And there has to be a process that is fast enough for human beings to appeal any bot decision. This is, in my opinion, a wrong direction for the mankind altogether. And of course, some of the people out there will think about the example of the loans, that certain people cannot get the loan because the bot stops that. So that is a certain type of problem. But what I'm talking about here is a much, much bigger. This is basically our very way of interacting with the machine and with one another. It's basically completely determined by these bots that decide sometimes in a very wrong way. And I explain in other videos why this is wrong, why they cannot think exactly as human beings because they rely at the end of the day only on data and information that they can extract from data, but they cannot learn in a broad sense. They do not have common sense intelligence as human beings do. So for me, there is a need for regulation. And with that said, I hope that you like this video. I'll see you the next time.